Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very simple makeup look and I'm actually just going to get straight into it starting off with a primer. Now since I'm not doing a very fancy makeup today I am going to be just doing a very natural looking skin so I'm using the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Primer which is a really nice metallic based uh, kind of primer. It's going to give you a really nice healthy glow and then on top of that I'm going to be using a very lightweight foundation which is by L'Oreal also which is the Nude Magic Foundation. This is in the color 120 which is the light color and I'm just gonna do a very 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 light layer of that and just blend it into the skin using just an angled kabuki brush just to give a really nice airbrushed finish Now going in with my favourite under eye concealer and my Real Techniques contour brush, I find that this combo has been one of my favourites recently and also using the Beauty Blender as well is also a great alternative to this brush. But I'm just going to tap that underneath my eyes and right now I'm using the shade NW20. Like I always say, I always put all of the colours and all of the products that I'm using in the description bar if you guys were wondering. But just using that brush to brush it out and then also blend it in with your finger. The warmth of your finger is going to blend that product product in so much nicer than a brush and it's just going to really push it into the skin. Then going in with a very subtle highlight today, I'm going to be using a concealer today and this has been a recent favourite of mine which is the Rimmel Wake Me Up uh, concealer in the colour Ivory number 10 or number 1 I think. <laughs> um, I'm just going to put that on the high point, so on the forehead, um, kind of along the cheek and under eye area, then around the nose to conceal the redness, on the cupid's bow to bring a little bit of light there and just around the mouth area to balance it out and of course on the chin area just to make it all nice and seamless and it's just going to look really nice and very subtly highlighted. Then I'm going to set all of this in place with the Arbonne uh, Setting Pretty Translucent Loose Powder in the colour Translucent. I've been using this a couple times in my recent videos and I have really become quite attached to this powder. It is a loose powder that is a um, kind of like a translucent colour but it has a little bit of a sheen to it so I'm using two different brushes to apply this. I'm using a smaller brush on the under eye area to really tap it in and then using just a regular kabuki brush just to put that into the skin and also on the eyelids as well just to set those in place so I absolutely love this stuff it is just so pretty then going in with my eyebrows now I'm gonna go very subtle today nothing too overdrawn or anything so today I'm using just a pencil this is the L'Oreal Superliner Brow Artist in 2 Blonde and a lot of people have been telling me that my eyebrows are looking a little bit too overdrawn drawn which is what I really liked personally because my eyebrows are practically non-existent but since that so many people seem to be commenting on it I'm going a little bit more subtle today so let me know what you think of my eyebrows in the description box now going in with my eyeshadow colors I'm going very subtle today I'm using the makeup geek uh, creme brulee sorry uh, eyeshadow and it is a beautiful warm brown I'm just using that with a massive fluffy brush and I'm just gonna sweep this into the crease area and then use a clean fluffy brush just to blend it out and make it look a whole lot more seamless and then going in with a pointing brush which is I think a concealer brush it came in one of the naked palettes and I'm just gonna run that just along my lower lash line for a little bit more definition and this is a product that I just have been absolutely loving recently and is Max Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. And I'm just going to pack this on with my finger because I find that if I really want to pack on the color, I find using my fingers definitely works a lot nicer than using a brush with this product. Um, I do like to use a brush when I'm using this on the tops of my cheekbones just for a more subtle look. But I find if you really want to pack on the color, use your fingers and it works a lot nicer. Now I'm just going to put that on the inner corner, the whole entire lid, and also a little bit on my brow bone. And since that I'm not using any eyeliner or any fake eyelashes today I am going to curl my lashes which is a very important step if you're not using eyelashes or anything so I'm using a combination of two mascaras today I'm using benefit they're real at the moment this is just a sample size and I'm just gonna put that as my first layer and it's going to give me a nice amount of length not so much volume but a lot of length and right now I am using the L'Oreal Vol uh, volume million lashes so couture and it is one of the newest L'Oreal mascaras for a little bit more volume. Then moving on back to the face, I'm using my favorite bronzer at the moment, which is the Arbonne bronzer. This kind of gives you like just out of the sun, 
sun-kissed look, which is what I wanted, just very subtly though. So I'm just going to run that along the perimeters of my face, just underneath the cheeks, temples, and also on the forehead, just to give me a little bit more color. But I'm just going to buff that out just with a fluffy brush, and it's going to give me a nice seamless look. Now, I have decided to go with a cream blush today, and I've really been enjoying cream blushes lately. So today I've chosen the Topshop blush in Head Over Heels. It is a beautiful peachy shade, and I find using this e.l.f. small stipple brush works really, really well. And I'm just going to tap that into place and then blend it out with um, just my fingers, just around the edges, just so it looks really nice and seamless. But I've really been enjoying cream blushes lately. I find that they make you look really nice and natural, um, just without being too intense. I really, really like the look of these. And of course, blending them out with your fingers is going to make them look a little bit more seamless. Now, going on back to that highlighter, which is the Max uh, Soft and Gentle Highlighter or Mineralized Skin Finish, I'm going in with the brush that I used, um, my Arbonne Setting Powder, and I'm just going to run that just along my cheek bones um, also on the tip of the nose center of the nose and on the cupid's bow just for a little bit more of a subtle highlight now for my lips I'm gonna give you guys two options and it's completely up to you which way you want to go at the moment I'm using more of a natural color and for the lip liner I'm using one of my favorites which is the Savvy by DB nourishing lip liner in the color rose and then going in on top of that with Mac cream sheen uh, cream cup which is a beautiful lipstick it's one of my favorite natural pink colors and it is just so easy and you can honestly wear this color with literally any makeup look that you do and it all Always looks really really nice and this is just a quick close-up shot of the look Now for the second option, I wanted to go a little bit more intense with the um, with the lip look. Now right now I'm using the lip liner from Prestige Cosmetics in the color Poppy and this is like a straight up orange lip liner. I absolutely love this and I seem to pair this with a lot of my more red toned, orange toned lipsticks. And for my lipstick, this is definitely one of my favorite recent brands. It's by Shanghai Suzy. And right now I'm using a color called the Gosling, which I don't know if, is, if it is available anymore because they do do um, a lot of limited edition shades so if you do like the colors that are on the website you need to buy backups um, but this is just a really nice orange tone red which a lot of brands do have and of course this is the final look with the more intense lip color I would love to know what you guys like um, with the lip color let me know which one is your favorite personally I think I like the more intense color which is initially what I wanted to do this video for but I hope you guys did enjoy it let me know in the comments down below which one you guys like and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys